Welcome back. Now a treat for all of you who delight in that divine swine, Miss Piggy and her friends, Fozzie Bear and Kermit. The team which brought the Muppet Show to millions of people all over the world have now created a feature film fantasy, The Dark Crystal. It's a story of another universe where a young Gelfling called Jen battles to save his world from the vile reptilian race of Skeksis. In this scene, the good sorceress Orgro is mistaken for Jen and dragged before the Skeksis. Release my dopey! I'm and death! Oh, help! Yes. Hmm. That, uh, I've just been told, was slightly out of sync, but you might not have noticed. The extraordinary impressive film, The Dark Crystal, opens in London today. With me in the studio are the creators of the film, Jim, Jim Henson and Frank Oz, and one of the stars who you've just seen, Augra the Sorceress, who reminds me slightly of Miss Piggy, does she? Oh, boy. Well, well, well I don't Piggy. think Miss Piggy would like to hear that. <laughs> I, I, that surprises me. <laughs> the main similarity is the fact that uh, Frank was, uh, was inside of this character uh, in the, in, during the film. The amazing thing is that you're both the creators of these wonderful mystical worlds, the Muppets and, and now the Dark Crystal world, but you also both love acting. That's, it's really part of acting. What, what you do with a character like Agra, instead of an actor using his body as a tool, you're an actor using uh, this creature as a tool. It's just a different way to express the same thing, really. Where did all the wonderful voices come from? Well, in this particular film, uh, Jim and I did not do any of our own voices, and most of the characters uh, uh, were performed by people who didn't do their own voices. Uh, Augur's voice was done by Billy Whitelaw, who did a marvelous voice, uh, yeah. and she's a dear lady. And uh, the other voices were... Uh, were added on later also by other uh, artists. It's a wonderful story, isn't it, of the fight between good and evil, uh, which in this case turns out with a happy ending. I mean, Tolkien's Return of the Ring and, and a lot of Doctor Who have a similar sort of themes. I think we're all drawing on the same uh, basic uh, mythic folklore, fairy tale basis. It's, uh, there's something very solid about those kinds of stories. I think they're stories that, uh, that have a lot of layers of meaning that work for a lot of people. That's why everybody keeps using them. Why is it do you think that people love monsters so much? I don't know. I like monsters. Uh, Why do you like monsters? <laughs> I've never really figured it out. No, it's, it's fun to do characters that are very strange. Uh, in this case, in this film, uh, it was what was a lot of fun was just creating an entire world. You know, well, you've created fresh. a universe, haven't you? I mean, yes. of landscapes and people and, and different... Yes. Types and everything, but but uh, no, I think we've never done it to the extent this picture does. You see, and it was wonderful. I mean, it was great fun, sort of putting this thing together. And you did it sitting alone in a hotel room, if the story is true, during oh, a blizzard in America. Well, that was the first story. Just the the story outline went together when I was trapped uh, in a snowstorm in New York with my daughter, and uh, we put the basic story together. But the film was put together, and, and the film itself is a creation of lots and lots of people. We had, oh, maybe three, 350 people yeah. who were working on this film. And, and, and it's interesting, a film like this is really a joint creation of all of those people. Can you still do all the voices? Which voices? Miss Yours, Miss David's? Piggy, oh. Miss Piggy, Beautiful Kermit, Wonderful yeah, you Fuzzy don't, Bear. You don't, you don't forget those things. We're, we're, the, the Muppet Show Muppets have a life of their own. We're doing another film with them. Uh, we're doing television specials. Uh, this now, uh, The Dark Crystal, is, is just another avenue that we wanted to explore. So yes, we can do all those th things I have to still. ask you how, how, how Miss Piggy... Around, I, think, you know. <laughs> I have to ask you how Miss Piggy is. Uh, she's fine. I think she's probably lounging in the sun somewhere with uh, Kermit uh, uh, in a private rendezvous. I'm very I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm very pleased to hear that. Thank you both very much indeed. I hope the film is an enormous success. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye-bye.